हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम योर फ्रेंड अशफाक एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कनेक्ट टू योर एस थ्री स्टोरेज फ्रॉम योर ई सी टू इंस्टेंस एंड देन हाउ टू ट्रांसफर द फाइल फ्रॉम योर लिनक्स ई सी टू इंस्टेंस टू एस थ्री बकेट एंड देन कॉपी दी फाइल फ्रॉम एस थ्री बकेट टू लिनक्स इंस्टेंस Let's get started. I have logged into AWS console and this is the this is my EC2 instance and I have connected to that EC2 instance from my Windows system. you can refer to this video how to create the ubuntu ec2 instance and how to connect that instance from your local machine the link of this video i will provide you in the description i will go back to aws console i will open the new tab and i will open the console here also so first we will create the s3 bucket for that i will go to s3 you can search here also create bucket i will give the name virtual tech box bucket and remaining things i will keep as it is and i will click on create bucket okay bucket name must not contain upper case character now i will click on create bucket so bucket has been created now i will search here i a m actually now i am going to create the i am role and then i will attach that i am role to my ec2 instance so on the left side i will click on roles i will click on create role aws service i will select here ec2 next i will search here amazon s3 full access so this is the role i will select this role and i will click on next i will give the name s3 access to ec2 and this is the policy which we have attached 
I will click on create role. Okay, so role has been created. This is the newly created role. Now I will go back to my EC2 instance. Uh, I have selected my EC2 instance. I will go to actions, security, modify IM role, and here in the drop down, I will select my newly created role and I will click on update IM role. Okay, so role has been attached to my EC2 instance. I will go to S3 bucket which I have created. So this is my bucket. If I go to my bucket, uh, you can see it is empty as of now. I will now go to my terminal on which I have connected to my Ubuntu EC2 instance. Uh, actually, I have to now verify the connectivity between my EC2 instance and the S3 bucket. Uh, for that, I will give the command AWS S3 LS. It is not accepting the command because I don't have the AWS CLI installed on my EC2 instance. So I will go ahead and install it. I will give this command to install the AWS CLI. All these commands I will provide you in the description. Okay, so installation completed. If I give the command AWS hyphen hyphen version, so you can see here it has been installed in my instance now. I will now go ahead and give the command AWS S3 LS. So it is showing my S3 bucket name which means connectivity between EC2 instance and the bucket is successful. Now I will go ahead and create one text file here inside the uh, Ubuntu folder sample.txt I will type here some text
I will save and close it. So file is available. Now I have to copy this file from my EC2 to S3. So I will give the command AWS S3 CP sample dot txt and now I will give the address of my S3 bucket S3 colon slash slash bucket name slash the target file name which uh, uh, which I am copying there. So I will give the name to the target file sample from ec2 dot txt and I will hit enter. So the message is coming uploaded. I will now go to my EC2 bucket and uh, if I do the refresh here so you can see here text file is available in my S3 bucket. Now I have to copy this uh, text file from my S3 bucket to EC2 instance. So if I do the ls here, so this is the only text file available here as of now. To copy the file from the S3 bucket, I will give the command AWS S3 CP and the bucket name and the file name source file name and I will give the name to the target file sample from s3 dot txt and I will hit enter so the message is coming download if I do the ls here you can see here the file has been downloaded here from the s3 bucket if I open this file So you can see uh, this is the same file which we had sent from here. By this way you can uh, create the IAM role and attach that IAM role to EC2 instance and copy the file from EC2 instance to the S3 bucket and vice versa. Hope you find this video helpful. A lot of effort went behind this video. So do subscribe to my channel to encourage my work. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.